Mishnai Sukkah, Chapter 4, Mishnah 2. After we've gone through the introduction, which we learned in the previous Mishnah, that talked about a lulav and a rava with six or seven days, the reciting of the halal and the simcha, the joy is shemayin or is eight days. We talked about sukkah, the sitting in the sukkah, and the nisach and the pouring the water was for seven days. The hachalal and the flute was five or six days. Now we're going into the details, and we're going to analyze the lulav and the details about how it works out to seven days. So let's just go into it in more detail here. Lulav Shiva Ketzad. The Lulav, the Mitzvah of Lulav is taken for seven days. How is this? Yom Tov HaRishon, if the first day of Yom Tov, Shel Chag, of Sukkot, Shechol Liyos Shabbos, that falls out to be on Shabbos, Lulav Shiva. So if the first day of Yom Tov, of Sukkot, actually falls out, on a Shabbos, on Friday night and Saturday, then the mitzvah alulav is performed for seven days. And we'll, we'll explain why soon. Or Sha'akal but if the first day of the Chag of Sukkot falls out on any other day of the week, not Shabbos, then it is going to be for six days. So going down to the Rav, Lulav Shiva, the Lulav is taken for seven days. To Yom Rishon Docha Shabbos, because the first day overrides Shabbos, this lay Ikim in a Torah, because it's said directly from the Torah that we take the lul of Big Vulim, and that applies in the Gvulim as well, in the areas outside Jerusalem, not just in the Beis Amikdash. The Ksiv, because it's written, Lakachtem Lachem Biyom Rishon, you will take it for yourself on the first day. That is a blanket statement that applies. In the base of Migdash, in Jerusalem, outside Jerusalem, everywhere, we take the lulav for ourselves on the first day of Yom Tov. The Sha'ah, Kol Yomim, and all the other days, Im Chol Yom Tov, Rishin Yemei If the first day of Yom Tov falls out on the other days of the week, Benim Tzoraz Shabbos B'Chol So that means Shabbos is going to fall out on Chol so therefore, Loi Dochi, Shabbos will not override to allow you to take the Lulav, to do the Mitzvah of Lulav, because Shabbos is not the first day of Yom Tov. It's on one of the other days of Chalamoid, not the first day of Yom Tov, so it doesn't override it. For Afel Gav Dechol Shiva Hu the Migdosh, and even though all the seven days of Yom Tov to take the Lulav are actually applying to take the Lulav in the sanctuary. Hem, nevertheless, the rabbis established their decree on the other days of the festival, also applying in the Beis HaMikdash that if it doesn't fall out the first day of Yom Tov on Shabbos that you that you're not going to take it if, if Shabbos falls out on Chalamoid. Why did they establish their decree? Also applying in the Beis HaMikdash itself. Because because in the areas outside of the temple, it's not directly commanded from the Torah to take the Lulav outside the temple. Or bedin and lawfully, really the lulav should override Shabbos. On the first day of the festival, even today we should really take the lulav on Shabbos. Ella, but why don't we? Because it was a point in time that we were not expert. Before computers in the days of the Mishnah, they weren't expert on fixing the day of Rosh Chodesh and seeing the new moon because we didn't have technology. And when they had a sighting of the new moon, there would be a delay or they weren't sure if it was correct. And therefore, we could get the day of Rosh Chodesh mixed up and then the calculation of when Yom Tov is would also be faulty. V'shema ain't say Yom Tov and perhaps the day that they instituted on Rosh Chodesh wouldn't be correct. It wouldn't be Yom Tov Rish, it wouldn't be the first day of Sukkot. Therefore, we don't either override the day of Shabbos 
out of a doubt that we might not have the right day in the days of the Mishnah, and we continue that today. The Tama and the reason, the Gozra, Shalom, Little Lulav, the Shabbos. What was the reason they decreed that you cannot do the Mitzvah of Lulav on Shabbos? There's not any work in the actual taking of the Lulav and doing the Mitzvah of Lulav itself. But we're worried that you might move it, you might carry it on Shabbos. Xaira, they decreed Shema Yetleno Biyoda, he might take it in his hand, Viel Etzel Baki, and he'll go to an expert. Lil Moda Bracha to learn the blessing over the Lulav, or Isada Hananoim, or the order of its shaking, the Avirana Dalaramis Bishosarabim, and then he'll carry it for Amois in the Rishosarabim, he'll carry it in the public thoroughfare. Vahainu Tama, and that is the reason, the same logic applies. The Shofar, Vahainu Tama, the Megillah, and that's the same logic for the Megillah as well, of why we don't blow the Shofar on Shabbos, and why we don't read the Megillah on Shabbos as well.